Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecturer in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to add music to a presentation in Microsoft PowerPoint 2010. First off, here's my presentation. Now this is just an empty presentation. It's got an introductory slide and four, four slides numbered one, two, three, four, just for illustration purposes only to show the slides changing as I'm playing the presentation. So let's say we want to add a sound file to my introductory slide. First thing I need to do is go to the insert ribbon across the top over here and over on the extreme right hand side we have our audio option to insert an audio file. So I'm going to click on that and select audio from file. In this case I've got a sound file on my hard drive. So select that. And in my um, shared music area I have in the sample music folder uh, Beethoven Symphony number no. 9. Uh, this came with Windows XP is the version I have on my computer so it's uh, standard with Windows so I'm choosing that. And I'm going to insert that into my presentation here. Now this is a, a 1 minute 15 second music file um, written by Beethoven and it's also performed by the Seattle Symphony Orchestra for your information. And I've got a little logo appearing here um, on the left hand side of my slide now. I've got a little speaker and I've got a little play button here. So I can first of all play my sound file to make sure it's the right one and so on here. So that's the beginning of my sound file. I've got some controls here and over on the right hand side I've got volume to turn it up and down to set it to whatever volume I choose to do. So now if I run this slide, um, you can see I've got over here on the left hand side I've got the speaker icon present along with my slide here and all I need to do is click on the speaker icon to play the music. So click on play. And that will keep playing the music in the file until you move on from the slide or the sound ends. So when I escape back out of that the sound stops. Now there's a few options that I can continue I can do with this icon here. First of all, you notice that when you select the icon, an audio tools ribbon appears um, on the PowerPoint top screen up here in the top right hand side. I've got two options on it, two tabs, a format tab and a playback tab. In the format tab, I can change the shape and the color and the size and so on of the um, speaker icon here. But I'm going to leave everything as, as they are at the moment. You can change these yourselves. I'm going to select the playback tab here. And there's a few things I can do with this. Now, supposing I want this particular sound file to start automatically when I run the slideshow. So I'm going to change here in the middle the start option from on click to automatically. Play the slideshow. So you can see that it starts all by itself. Now, if I want that icon to be hidden during the slideshow, I just select the hide during show in the audio options up here in the center of the window of the Audio Tools Playback Ribbon tab. So if I select that, you'll see that when I run the slideshow, that the icon has disappeared and the music starts automatically by itself. Now if I run the slideshow again, and let's say I've finished my introduction here, the music is playing away in the background over there, but when I move on to the next slide, The music stops. So let's say I want this music to be present on all slides, um, no matter what duration the slides are. So if I select the sound icon again, remember if it's not selected the uh, audio tools ribbon disappears, but when you select the icon it, it's there. So select the playback tab and this time change the start option from automatically to play, play across slides. So now when I play the slideshow, There's my introductory slide, and when I move on to the next slide, the music is continuing. I'll just turn it up so that you can hear it. I'm on slide number one, and when I move on from this slide, the music is continuing on into slide number two. So it's not being timed or anything like that. I can keep talking over this slide here while the music is playing in the background. Or alternatively, if you wanted to do, say, a marketing presentation or something like that, that the um, slideshow will continue playing with the music. So I'll continue on to the end. And at the end of the slideshow, the music stops. So I go back to my icon. I can make lots and lots of different changes. I can uh, the volume is quite loud in that, so I can turn it down. I can also, if I right-click on the icon, um, there are some options for me to uh, make some edits to the sound file. So I'm going to click on the uh, Trim Audio option here in the center, 
And uh, this file, as I say, is 1 minute and 15 seconds long. And suppose I just wanted the introductory piece. So if I move that down to the left-hand side here to play, say, um, about 5 seconds or so of the, of the tune, click on OK, run, this, run this, the slide, it stops after five seconds. So I've got some editing options there, which means that I don't have to, um, I'll just bring that up again, I don't have to use the uh, start or the end, I can use any part of the sound file, so I don't have to do any editing at all in my presentation. So just going to cancel that there. That shows you how to insert some music or um, any kind of sound file can be inserted in this way into a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. One word of warning, do please ensure that you do not infringe any copyright or intellectual property of music and that it is certainly in a public place that it is okay to play the music that you have chosen. So that's how you insert a sound file into a PowerPoint presentation um, version 2010. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for your attention.